Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We have a question on the email. It's entitled, Canon 80D versus Nikon D7200. This comes in from Christine. Hi Matt, I've really enjoyed watching your videos as I'm deciding how to upgrade from my Nikon D3200. I still really like my D3200, but I've recently become really frustrated with its indoor performance and autofocus during video. I mostly use my camera for photos, but I would really like to get into video. I'm a student, so pricing is definitely a big concern as I'm upgrading. However, I would rather pay more if it meant it would be better fit for my purposes. The reason I would lean towards the Nikon D7200 is its better image quality, dual card slot, uh, supposedly better low light performance, and largely the fact that I have experience in lenses for Nikon. For the Canon 80D, I've heard is much better for video. It has an articulating touchscreen and is just a really competitive camera compared to the D7200. I've just had a really terrible experience with D3200 video and I'm looking for a big upgrade. However, it will definitely be more expensive for me since I will be venturing into a new brand. In summary, I'm currently currently 60% photo and 40% video. Thank you so much for your time and help. All your videos are so helpful. Thank you. And that is from Christine. Thank you for your question, Christine. Um, yeah, because you are looking at doing more video and you're frustrated with the video in the 3200. The 7200 is going to be a little bit better video experience, but not a lot. The 7200 is a very, very strong camera for photography, not so much for video. The ADD excels because of, as you've pointed out, the articulating touchscreen. Um, it has the dual pixel AF, which is huge. If you're wanting to do any type of video where you're like a one-woman crew and you're shooting yourself and you're going to use the camera to follow focus, well, the dual pixel AF in there just kills Nikon's ability to do that. They, they're based no comparison. Um, so I always say that is the deciding factor. If you're wanting to shoot video, then yeah, go Canon. If you're looking for just a photographic tool, well, the Nikon is a little superior than the Canon. However, you're doing, you want to do 40% video, I think you're going to be much happier with the ADD. Even consider, if you want something a little less expensive, the little Canon SL2. It'll give you pretty much most of what you'll get out of the ADD, um, just not quite as good as an autofocus system. It still has the dual pixel AF, so for video, it's great. Um, it's a less expensive body. Um, I've been shooting with it. I've been really enjoying it. Um, so... It's an option for less money, but the ADD is a very strong offering, very good camera. You could probably get one refurbed from Canon for a really good price. Um, so I would go ADD in your situation, and I would switch um, because of the fact that you're wanting to go strongly into video. The D7200 from Nikon is not a strong offering for video. If you were looking at maybe the 7500 or the 500, then, then I would say, yeah, maybe you could look at those more strongly. But... The ADD does have the dual pixel AF, which Nikon really doesn't have anything to compete with that right at the moment. Um, nobody really does other than Sony, which is very close. The rest of the camera manufacturers really haven't made it to that level of smooth, continuous autofocus in video. Uh, with the exception of Fuji. Fuji's gotten very good at that as well. So that's what I would do. I would go with the ADD between the two. What would you guys do? Um, leave your comments below. Let us know what you would do and why. Do you agree with me? Would you go ADD? Would you consider the SL2 as I suggested? Is there something else you would consider? Um, let us know. What would you do and why? Let's help out Christine. Help her make her decision. Always great to hear some input from you guys. Um, sometimes you come up with suggestions or things that I missed and just helps our viewer have some other viewpoints when they're trying to make up their mind on purchasing decisions like this. Thanks for your question, Christine. Looking forward to hearing all the feedback to help you out. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.